This is a nonfiction book called The Polar Bear and the Jaguar by Sneed B. Collard III and illustrated by Pam Carroll. A polar bear and a jaguar, that's interesting to have them in the same book, right? right let's see. In northern Alaska, far above the Arctic Circle, polar bear creeps along the ice on its belly. It is winter and the sun barely climbs above the horizon. The temperature has dropped to 40 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. The polar bear doesn't seem to be affected by the cold. This is its home. Right now, this furry white animal is sneaking up on its favorite meal a ringed seal. The bear is the hunter or predator. The seal is its prey. 5,000 miles to the south, another predator is hunting. This animal is a jaguar. It lives in the hot, wet rainforest of Central and South America. Without making a sound, the jaguar steps toward a 600 pound tapir. As the jaguar creeps closer, the tapir hears a sound. It raises its head, but it is too late. The jaguar leaps and sinks its teeth into its neck. How can the polar bear and the jaguar be alike? Their habitats, or homes, are as different as night and day. The animals are alike in two ways. Each one is, a very well, is very well suited for its home. Both the polar bear and the jaguar are at the top of the food webs where they live. Each animal is the largest predator and eats the largest prey in its habitat. You can see on the map, it's showing you where the tropical rainforest habitat is for the jaguar and then shows you up here where the tundra habitat is for the polar bear. The polar bear makes its home in the Arctic tundra. This is one of the hardest places on earth to live. No trees grow there, only small plants and lichens grow there. In June, the sun shines almost 24 hours over the tundra. Plants grow quickly. Caribou travel thousands of miles from central Canada and Alaska to eat plants and give birth to their offspring. Packs of wolves follow the caribou to hunt for food and raise their own young. Geese, sandpipers, and other birds also arrive by the thousands. They feed on flies and other insects. In September, though, a chill is in the air. The birds begin to t return south to warmer places with more food. The caribou and the wolves follow them. As temperatures drop, winter covers the tundra with snow. Only a few animals stay. And you see in each of these pictures, they've labeled the different animals. Falcon, wolves, geese. And over here, they showed you the caribou and the sandpiper and even a mosquito. Polar bears and seals do not leave. With their heavy fur and thick layer of fat to keep them warm, polar bears hunt for seals on the ice. To catch a seal, a polar bear crawls on its belly. It can wait for hours for the seal to pop its head out of an air hole. Sometimes the bear dives into an air hole and pops up through another. That way it can catch a sleeping seal by surprise. So they've shown you three of the animals that stay during the cold weather in the tundra, the musk oxen and the ringed seal and the polar bear. Musk oxen and Arctic foxes also stay. Musk oxen use their heavy hooves to clear snow from tundra plants in order to eat them. Arctic foxes hunt lemmings that hide under the snow. The foxes' coats have turned from blue or gray to white. 
Like polar bears, the foxes blend in with the snow. When they hunt, this camouflage helps them surprise their prey. And there's a lemming. A lemming is kind of like a little rodent. The very things that help a polar bear survive would be useless in a jaguar's home. A jaguar wouldn't do well in the Arctic either. In its home in the tropical rainforest, the temperatures stay warm all year round. Sunshine and plenty of rain help tall trees and other plants grow. Many kinds of plants and animals live there. And you see some examples, the boa constrictor and an iguana. Reptiles are common in the rainforest. They are cold blooded. That means they can't control their own body heat. Their body temperature changes with their surroundings. They must live in warm places to stay warm. Many reptiles are at home in the warm rainforest. Among them are snakes, lizards, turtles, and caimans. Do any reptiles live in the Arctic? Not a chance. Insects can be found in the tropical rainforest all year long. Scientists believe that between 10 and 30 million kinds of insects live there. Insects are invertebrates. They have no backbones or any other bones. All the other animals you have read about so far are vertebrates or animals with backbones. Instead of bones, an insect, an insect has a hard outer covering called an exoskeleton. This holds together and protects the insect's body. There you've got some other examples of animals from the rainforest, a vine snake, a bird eating spider, a window pane butterfly, and a ruby topaz hummingbird. Like polar bears, many of these insects have natural camouflage. It helps them hide from predators. Natural camouflage also helps predators sneak up on their prey. You see how these little insects are kind of blending in and the plants. A jaguar spots help it blend in with the spotted light of the forest floor. They allow the animal to sneak up on tapirs, deer, and other prey. A jaguar usually stalks or follows its prey. Many snakes, spiders, and other predators sit quietly camouflaged. They wait for their prey to come to them. One rainforest predator that needs no camouflage is the harpy eagle. It is one of the world's most powerful birds of prey. Its wings measure almost 10 feet across. It nests in the tallest rainforest trees. The harpy eagle's sharp eyes help it spot sloths, monkeys, and lizards high in the rainforest trees. Like the jaguar, the harpy eagle is at the top of the food web. So it means it's the top predator. Every animal in the tropical rainforest and in the Arctic is suited to its home. It's important to preserve or protect these natural places. And that way, we help the animals that live there to survive. We help keep a richer world for all of us to live in. So the thing that these animals had in common was that they were both predators and at the top of their food webs. So in other words, all the other animals and plants were under it. So it was the top thing to eat other animals in its habitat. But their two habitats were very, very different, right? So the polar bear lived in a place with no trees where it stays cold virtually all year. And the jaguar stays lives in a place where it's very damp and many many trees and plants where it stays pretty much warm all year but they're both perfectly suited to their habitats so if we took this jaguar and took him up to the arctic tundra would he survive no of course not because his body isn't 
set up to live in that cold weather. And the same with if we took this polar bear and took him down to the rainforest. Yeah, his body is adapted to being cold weather, so he wouldn't be able to live in a southern place where it was warm and moist all the time. And he wouldn't have what he usually eats. Yeah. Okay, so that's another thing about animals is that they adapt, their bodies are adapted to their habitats. Their bodies and their behavior are adapted to the place where they live. And they usually wouldn't be able to survive in another place.